In this video, I'm going to show you a little bit of what the peer review looks like, both for the student and the teacher. So a peer review assignment on Blackboard starts just like every other assignment. A student will have to submit some form of work that you clarify prior to an initial due date. The difference in your setup is after you've created this, that initial due date will go through, will end, and then students will be prompted to come back into the same assignment or that same link on your uh, page to complete their peer review. You can see that my initial due date has passed and I can have a partially completed circle telling me there is still something here that I need to complete. When I go ahead and I click on the assignment, I am currently in a student setting, so I'm in what your students would see. They can see their original submission, they can see they have zero attempts left to do it, and then they're able to see how many peer reviews they have left. You're able to set how many peer reviews you would like, okay, and it gives us the date that that is due as well. From here, it says I have one peer review not yet started. This was a randomly generated peer review um, that came from another fake student submission that I had completed. When you're ready to start, you would click Start Peer Reviews, and it provides you with the assignment content. This one, in this case, didn't have any, so that little box is empty. And then the submission content, so what the students actually submitted in relation to that assignment. So they can actually go through, and I've included a bunch of different test and sample items here. Um, this is a pages file. Same thing with movies or keynotes, those would be able to be downloaded and opened on the iPad. PDFs pop up straight through, images pop in straight through, and then obviously the text shows right away as well. If you are using this for some sort of Google project or Google product, you can provide the link and then students will click into that and it will open up in another tab or in the appropriate app. The important thing to notice here though is the feedback. So this is actually where the student would provide feedback to the other student. And this note here, your teacher and classmate see the feedback, but only the teacher is able to see your name. So this gives a little bit of anonymity um, to both students. Uh, you can see that I can't see what peer I'm reviewing, and the peer that I'm reviewing won't be able to see me, but the teacher does have access to both of those pieces of information. So when I am ready to give my feedback, I'm able to type in here what I want to say, and what I might want to share. I have my standard text options. I also have the ability to add in a link if I wanted to add in um, a link to an outside resource or something we've looked at in class. If I wanted to add in any of these features here. If I wanted to add in uh, like a screenshot of a rubric and my evaluation on it or where I might self or where I might peer review evaluate it, that would be something you can put in here. And then you have the audio video recording feature. So by clicking this button, you will actually be able to see a pop-up window. Okay. You might have to allow it the first time. And then you have the ability to record voice feedback as well, and video if you so choose. Okay. So that is the feedback on the student's end. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say submit. And then from the student perspective, you can see right here, I as the teacher am able to see both. This is what I am saying as the student. I can give that feedback. And when I'm done, I can click close. And then I see that I have completed my peer review. Once I've done that, I can see that it's completed here and we are good to go. Now to show you what this looks like on the teacher end, we'll go ahead and go back to the teacher appearance. I can click on that assignment, that peer review. I can see I have two submissions, two of two submitted, and I have two to grade. So submitted and needs to grade. When I go ahead and click in to the assignment, okay, I see the assignment itself, and then I'm able to see the feedback from peers. So I am able to see the self evaluate, or excuse me, the peer evaluation as I'm going through and assigning my own grades. I would say whatever it would, whatever my feedback would be. and save that. And this would go back to the student as well. All right, navigating through, I can click next and I'll see my next submission as well as 
the feedback that the students gave as well. And that is peer review okay, for the Blackboard Learn Ultra setting. So this is a different take on assessment and a different way to utilize this platform in order to not only have students submit work, but then for them to be able to give feedback and have it actually live in a place that is both meaningful, for, meaningful to them and to you all in one spot.